Myanmar's ruling generals have started a program to build nuclear weapons. They, they really want to uh, build a bomb. That's uh, their main uh, objective. It appears that it's a nuclear weapons program because there's no, no conceivable use for this for nuclear power. They're trying to develop long-range missiles. They want to have the rockets and nuclear warheads. Elections later this year are aimed at convincing the world they're moving towards democracy. But fearing attack from the United States and an uprising by their own people, Myanmar's generals are instead digging themselves in with a nationwide network of bunkers. <laughs> With top secret material gathered over five years, we can reveal how Myanmar is trying to become the next nuclear armed North Korea. My name is Evan Williams. I'm a journalist based in London. I've been covering Myanmar, the country formerly known as Burma, now for about 15 years. Last year, the Democratic Voice of Burma, a media organization based in Oslo, Norway, approached me with information that they said could prove that the generals ruling their country had started a program to try and acquire nuclear weapons, and that they were also digging a series of defensive bunkers throughout their country. DVB hired me to work with them to try and piece together what was going on inside one of the world's most secretive military regimes. What you're about to see is the result of that investigation. All the information has been gathered at great personal risk to all of those people involved including a Burmese army defector who's just managed to leave the country. At a safe house in Thailand, a defector from Myanmar's army unpacks the few possessions he fled the country with. Before leaving, he also smuggled out thousands of files detailing a secret program by Myanmar's ruling generals to eventually build nuclear weapons. They want to uh, produce uh, a bomb. Uh Bombs for warfare. Sai Tain Win was a major in Myanmar's army. He was deputy commander of a top secret military factory near a town called Myang. Parts made here and in another military factory are sent to a secret facility seven miles from a town called Tibet Chin. He says this is the headquarters of the army's nuclear battalion. It's here, he says. The regime is trying to build a nuclear reactor and enrich uranium for weapons. Sai decided to defect with his devastating material when he saw a broadcast by the Democratic Voice of Burma, or DVB. It revealed another secret military program. For the past five years, DBB's operations manager, Nanda, has been receiving top secret information from deep within the regime's classified database. It revealed the regime was digging a network of secret bunkers. They are constructing a huge tunnel, a very big tunnel, in different areas. I mean, a lot of tunnels in different areas. All over, the, all over the country. The information he received contained thousands of photographs, plans and drawings for a bunker system. Some are dug into the earth. Other larger caverns are bored into rock. The files marked the bunkers as military and showed they were being built across the country. Often built by civilians, but all for the army. DVB showed the files to one of the world's leading Myanmar analysts. There's a hundreds of pictures, literally hundreds of pictures, very close up of underground installations, of machinery, equipment, we're not quite sure where it is, blueprints, drawings, everything. And uh, I've never seen anything like that come out of Burma before. Some bunkers are marked as substations for an FOC or fiber optic cable. It gives the military a nationwide secure communications network. But there are other bunkers too. So Tint is a Myanmar army defector. He was a captain who taught officers strategy, including use of the new bunker system. <laughs> 
So Tint has been in the bunkers and says the larger ones are regional command posts. The military's files include this video of tunnels in Vietnam. Miat No was a major and deputy director of the regime's prime minister's office until he escaped a purge by defecting five years ago. ไอ้เราจะเอาออกมาเหมียวมีแรงงานนี่ตู้ไปลุกได้สุดาจะเอาดาตรุ๊ดจีซีจีแมนเจอร์เนี่ยบอกว่าจีซีจีแมนเจอ
Already, I've gone into a little poor child. I've been through. The being you said, the being a little move to Charlie, the table at the table with the party, and the children of Saturday. I wanted to be a good in the team as we should not do. You know, they can hear long of your one, you know, the toy that I'm a pin. Myanmar is a resource rich nation. It has vast deposits of gems, minerals, gas, oil, teak, and gold. And yet it remains one of the least developed nations on earth. The military government spends less on its people's health and education than just about any other country. The United Nations says one in three children is malnourished and many thousands die of preventable disease before they're five. The entire project we use only for military purpose, but they are asking many from the civilians' departments. This document orders three billion chat, about three million US dollars for the bunkers. It's just one of many annual demands for its secret projects. By examining the budget files, the total cost of the bunker system between 2001 and 2007 could be more than three and a half billion US dollars. It's astronomical. I mean, the amount of money they're spending on these underground facilities must exceed the annual budget for any other item, you know, in those health, education, or whatever. But they're certainly spending millions, if not you know, billions of US dollars.